Hi everyone, so this is my promised little chat about finger symbols, zills, uh, Z-I-L-L-S. As you can see, I pulled out a variety. I have a crazy amount, um, so, but I wanted to show you a few. Um, I have some wooden zills. Uh, these ones are unfinished pine, um, and I have some in silver. I think these ones are bronze, they're super heavy. Um, you can get all different types, and the cost is really gonna be about the metal. So you don't need to get beautiful silver ones, certainly don't get the gold. Um, but also matters how heavy they are because of the price of shipping. So for example, these lovely little wooden ones, very, very light, they kind of cost nothing to ship. So that helps the, the overall cost. So when your finger symbols arrive, they are going to arrive, these ones really need a clean and I will give them a clean. Um, they'll arrive with these two holes in. You can see two lines in the middle. This is the underside, which is really dirty. I should have cleaned them first. And this is the top side. And it's gonna sit on my finger, kind of like that. So I need to thread it with elastic. Sometimes they come with elastic, sometimes they don't. I have got lots and lots of this, this sort of thickness of elastic um, in my sewing cupboard. Uh, you're also gonna need some little scissors. Um, some thread, I pick out upholstery thread um, just because it's so much stronger and a fairly thick and fairly sharp uh, needle because obviously it has to be able to go through the elastic. So I've already threaded that up and now I've got it tangled in the elastic because that's what happens. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to take a length of elastic. This is a little bit trial and error, and I would love to have like an extra hand here. And so I have bought a measuring spoon out to like give me an extra set. Because watching by video and uh, trying to do everything by hand, not great. You want to check first of all that the elastic will go through the holes, which this will. And you want enough to wrap around your finger plus some extra. So you can see that's a fair bit extra. So I'm going to chop it around about there. There we go. And I would normally cut four lengths. How long is that compared to my finger? That's a pretty good judgment of my finger. Now, if I thread this through, and I'm going to thread from the back to the front. Whoop. This is my preferred method. You might see other people's methods elsewhere. Now, if you see, if I wrap it around my finger, can I do it on the table? I can. If I put this piece that way and this piece that way, it's pretty much gonna touch the edge in each place. So let me take that off so you can better see. If I wrap it around my finger, it's enough to go around my finger plus extra. And it's that extra overlap that I care about. So let's pretend it's that much overlap. Can you see? And I'm gonna put one on top of the other and so down each side. But if there's too much overlap, let me thread this through again. You know, see if I can show you. Oop. So for example, if my finger was super narrow, now I've got so much overlap that I'd almost want to tuck it in again. So that's too much. So I'm going to trim it down to make sure that's the right amount. So what you can do, and I didn't bring a pen over, is place a piece so that it's going to hit around about the middle of your nail. And then take the other piece and take it to the far side of your nail and just trim it to that length. And as I said, we're going to overlap them and sew down each side. Do I have one where you can see? This one you can see fairly well. My ugly hand sewing, but I've just done an over stitch. And can you see on this one? There, you can see the double thickness. Come in focus. Come on phone, find it in focus. <sighs> double thickness from, whoop, from here to here, single thickness on the inside. So that's how you're going to get your finger symbols to fit. You have to do it four times. You want the elastic to be tight enough 
so that when you put it, you're going to put it on your finger just beneath your nail bud and it should feel slightly uncomfortable. This one is a thumb, not a finger. So if I now put this on top of my thumb to the bottom of the nail bed, like that, now you can see, <laughs> see instantly a little bit of blood getting stuck in the end of my finger. So it's like, I'd like to wear it, happy to wear it for 10 minutes don't really want to wear it for 20 minutes that should be comfortable obviously the elastic is going to loosen up a little bit over time this one's actually interesting because it only has one hole it doesn't have two holes uh, i don't know if you can see past the elastic but there's only one hole in there i would not advise these as beginners because they're a little bit less stable so if we look at whoop, one of these with two holes they don't sort of wobble as much, whereas the ones with one hole tend to wobble more. It's harder to hit a good note. But what I've done with these ones is literally staples. So I've put the elastic through and I've stapled it on one side and stapled it on the other to keep the elastic in place. So pick up a pair, of, a, pair a set. They usually come in a set of four finger symbols. Um, in a metal or wood that you really like. Um, some of the websites will let you listen to the sounds so you can decide which sound you like. But certainly for your first set of finger symbols, go cheap and cheerful. I will share some links of some finger symbols that I think are worth the investment. Uh, thread through your elastic so that it's a little bit tight when you're wearing it underneath the nail bed of your middle finger and the nail bed of your thumb. You might also want to keep an eye out for cute little bags, sort of pocket sized bags to keep them in, stop them getting quite as beaten up and dirty as mine are. So my task for today, I'm going to clean mine. I actually clean mine. You can clean them with ketchup, but I clean mine with brown sauce, which is a little bit more like steak sauce, but it's a British HP sauce. So that's my task for this afternoon. Clean up all my sewing mess. So this one set, that needs sewing and uh, yeah, clean all the ones that are tarnished. Okay, I hope you're gonna join me for some finger symbol fun over the next few weeks and I'll see you soon, bye. What did I forget to tell you? I forgot to tell you about the pairs that I lend out. So um, I've come up with this way to make the finger symbols a little bit more adjustable um, because obviously when people borrow my finger symbols, um, people have different size fingers um, so these have a classic little elastic band, one of the ones that you might put in kids' hair, um, which I have looped through each of the holes. And then I've had some ribbon, which I've actually put through those loops. If you can see, put through those loops and then glued in place. Now, the good thing about this is this fabric won't slip very easily through the elastic bands, it takes a bit of an effort. So when you put these on, don't put your fingers through the loop of the elastic. That's gonna hurt because it's way too short. People are like, these ones don't fit. See if I can put it on my little finger. There's a don't, ow, ow, ow. Yeah, don't, super tight. And then you end up with this loop fabric. That's not how they work. Put the finger in between the two loops. So there's the loops, I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees and I'm gonna put my finger between. So now what's happening is this purple fabric in this case has stretched a little bit to allow my finger in, but it hasn't continued to stretch, so it still feels tight. I could oop, pull on the elastic and make them more loose if I wanted them on a the larger finger. Let me put it on the right finger. So I'm gonna go between two loops little piece of fabric, nice and tight for almost everybody. So if you get one of my borrow sets and they have the fabric and the little cute elastic bands, that's what you're doing. Don't go through the loops, go through the gap between the two loops. Yay. Okay. <laughs>